channel um, today we're gonna cook up this beautiful red snapper that I got from my friend Captain Steve and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna grill the snapper over uh, wood lump charcoal and um, I'm gonna prepare it with a mango salsa um, and also cilantro rice so stay tuned and let's check it out okay guys what we've done is we filleted the uh, red snapper I took most of the red meat out as much as you can because remember, that red meat gives it a fishy flavor or the fishy taste that people don't like. Um, and uh, just basically prepared these loins. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna marinate it, put a little bit of dust on it, a little bit of uh, olive oil, and um, I'm also gonna use the redfish magic or the seafood magic from uh, Chef Perdome. Per Perdome, Perdome. You know what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so basically what we've done is I, I've prepared a mango salsa. I still need to put some lime in it, a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and uh, a little bit of garlic. But we're going to do it in a little bit. I just wanted to share this with you. Um, just a, a real simple trick, especially for the grill, is to uh, make these uh, red uh, bell peppers uh, with stuffed rice. And, uh, What's, what easier way than to do this with the Uncle Ben's Ready Rice? Um, this is a roasted chicken, it's a real, real good flavor, uh, one of my favorites. And what we're going to do is we're going to gut this uh, bell pepper, we're going to stuff it with the uh, ro roasted chicken uh, rice and a little bit of cilantro and that's going to make like a cilantro rice um, in a bell pepper which is delicious.
lost a little piece. Mm. Red Snapper's got a real mild flavor. Real mild flavor. So if you're the type that doesn't like, um, like fish taste, Red Snapper's definitely the one for you. So just to kind of go over what we've done, um, I got a man mango salsa that I whipped up from scratch. I got that inside. Um, I got this uh, red bell pepper stuffed with the roasted chicken flavor uh, Uncle Ben's. And I put a little cilantro in there as well. And then um, for the wife, she loves the shrimp and I'm allergic to shrimp. I can't eat shrimp. So for the wife, we got um, this little shrimp, uh, grilled shrimp platter. A um, little bit of rice fell in there, so he's going to be upset about that. But anyways, so that's pretty much it. There's a little bit still that needs to go on the bell pepper, so we're going to wait for that. But the grilled snapper is done, and it is delicious. So stay tuned. We'll show you how we plate that. And this is just another simple recipe that you guys can make at home. Um, I showed you the ingredients. So, you know, you basically want to... Um, Cover the fillets real good with olive oil. That's gonna help you in uh, holding all the spices. You wanna use a little bit of salt. You also wanna use a little bit of um, uh, seafood magic from Chef Poberon or Perdome. Um, garlic as well, salt, and that's pretty much it. Um, so just co coat it really well, put it in a bowl, and then transfer it to the grill. Um, you know, a lot of the cooking that I do is just real simple stuff that tastes great. Um, there's no need to spend tons of time um, in the kitchen preparing these things. You could buy a lot of stuff that's already made, like the Uncle Ben's rice, and just do something as simple as stuffing a bell pepper. Um, I like the roasted chicken. It's really, really good. There's uh, a couple other uh, flavors that you could buy, but in my opinion, the roasted chicken is probably the best. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. And uh, if you have any comments or questions regarding what we did today, Please feel free to leave a comment or a question, and I'll do my best to answer that. Um, and uh, please subscribe. That way I can keep doing this and bringing you guys a little bit more uh, recipes, uh, simple grilling recipes, which is what I do most. But I'll also show you how to make fish uh, other, other type of ways um, that does not involve grilling and could easily be done inside the home. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Until next time, El Puro Channel.